Hello everyone, in this lesson you will be able to add two digit numbers to two digit numbers by using a hundred chart. So we did have a lesson before on adding two digit numbers but it was more two digit numbers to one digit number. Now we are going to do two, di two digit numbers to two digit numbers because this is going to second grade. So let's try this using a hundred chart. So let's start with number seven. So if we were to do number seven together, let me just choose a different color. The one that we're going to be working on. So the way that we do it when we do a hundred, when we use a hundred chart, is we start with the first add-in. So we look for twenty-eight. So I'm going to circle it. That is the first add-in. Then when you are working with the hundred chart. You can look at the 10, 10 digit number. Sorry, the 10 digits. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. In this lesson, you will be able to add two digit numbers to two digit numbers by using the 100 chart. In my prior videos, I did show you how to use the 100 chart, but it was more from a one digit number to another digit number, one digit number. So. Today you're going to learn to add two digit numbers. Um, I'm going to start by showing you number seven. So let's work this together. When we are adding two digit numbers, we always start with the first add-in. And in this case it's 28. So I am going to circle it. It doesn't really matter if you add, if you start with the first add-in or the second add-in. And you're going to learn that uh, throughout the years that these numbers or these add-ins, um, they can commute. They can move from the front to the back because they work with the community property. You're going to learn that later on. But for the purpose of this lesson, I am going to start with the first add-in. But I just want you to know that it wouldn't matter because it's addition. I can start with either add-in. So let's start with 28. So I, I circle 28. Now, something that I want you to remember is that when we have a two digit number, we have the ones place and the tens place. In the ones place, um, that's what we're going to add later on because we're using the hundred chart. So I'm going to start with the tens place when I'm using the hundred chart. I'm going to choose a different color so you can see it. So this is the tens place. So since there are two, there's a two in the tens place, I'm going to go down twice, one, two times, and I'm going to stop here at 48. Then in the ones place, I have the number one. So I'm going to move on one more digit. Therefore, my answer would be 49. I want you to try your own number 10. And then I'm going to work it with you. So go ahead and pause the video. And then we'll do it together. Alright, so let's start again with, um, with number 10. We start with the first uh, add-ins, which is 29. So I'm going to look for 29. That's 29. Then... I am going to go to 37. So let's try to remember what we said about, about the tens place and the ones place. So I am going to underline the tens place so that we remember how many times we have to move on. We move down. So it's three times. So we're going to go one, two, and three times. So this is where I landed in 69. So in 59. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the color so we can see it. I am going to start working with the ones place. So I'm already at 59. I still need to move seven places Just to move on because I'm adding. So I'm going to do one time, then another time. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I landed in 66. 
That would be my answer. So just remember that when we are adding, we keep on moving forward. We either move forward or we move down. That is what you need to remember when we're using a 100 chart. So go ahead and try the other exercises. I hope this was helpful.